Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Hiya Judge Dread time. This time I'm going to be completing my Dark Judges with Judge Mortis. Came today and looks really nice. You know, it's the same body as uh, as Death and as uh, Fear already. Different heads, different belt. Shoulder looks like Death's, but it's more skeletal. Uh, does look really nice and it's this one the head actually looks properly scaled not too small looking forward to this as usual with the higher toys it's very very blank on the packaging not a lot of info on there but this does look nice no accessories but come to spare hands and a base and oh i'm telling a lie looks like a oh it's a tail not an accessory looks like there we'll see in a second looks really cool uh, if you like this sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right of the screen now, or also in the video description below, where we have reviews like this early. Get to see them first before other people. Exclusive content, and we do have prize draws running as well. So it is worth checking out, even for just a month, and you can cancel any time. Okay, let me open up this bad boy and get to this review. Back in an instant. Here he is. He does look good. Um... So first, first things that I noticed, the colouring seems to be just about the same as Death and Fear. However, his knee pads are a much lighter green, or rather, they're not as shaded or inked. They're more close to Fear's than to uh, Death's. Death's is a more, I want to say bland, not as bright, but his are the bright still here, Mortis, because he hasn't had them inked or not weathered or inked heavily enough. Anyway... He comes with a base which you've seen already with Def. This base here. Quite a nice base. Comes with hands. I think we've seen both these hands already. We've got the open hand. Like this. Or two open hands. One is slightly different to the other. But good for atmospheric poses. Quite evil looking. And you just pop out, push in. They are barbell joints but they're very small. Which higher would do bigger ones. But the hands are pretty nice. And then, as with the other figures, we get the two H connectors for connecting their bases together. Let's get a close look at our, our reason for watching this video, at Mortis himself. And we've got the nice Mortis name on the badge. Very cool on the skeletal, whatever it is, bird or something on his shoulder. Come up. Oh, nice. Got rib showing. Didn't notice that before. Very, very cool. Other side too. Small tail. See about see what I mean about those knees. Those pads are so bright green. And then the back we can see very, very cool. So features and articulation. Let's do articulation first. We'll go from head to bottom. Was, let's, yeah, should be okay. So head there is a left right, which is pretty cool. Can turn okay. Up, down, and I believe yeah, the jaw opens, but there's nothing inside. Just see the link, the uh, neck joint. But it's pretty cool they do that. Shoulders. Ooh, can you go all the way around? Surprisingly, that can go all the way around. This one, however, you pro possibly could, but it's, it's likely to pop off the shoulder. Uh, probably won't. Lateral. Both sides are pretty poor because of the. Uh, Shoulder pauldrons, not even flat. Bicep bend, looking at about 90 on his left. And a little bit less on his right. There is no trunk. There is weight of forwards, backwards, small smart sides and turn. Hips, yeah, he's on the uh, Dark Judges Taekwondo team. Forwards is not great. Backwards is all right. Um, you can turn from the hip joint a little bit. There is a double kneecap. It gets quite tight because of his skinny legs. The feet, there's no boot turn. There's no swivel. There's just a particularly good tippy toe and a particularly good dorsiflexation. So a bit disappointing on the articulation, but I think he is a great looking judge. A dark judge, great looking figure. I'll be tempted to get another one just to uh, 
get another head like that to use on customs. Now, if you haven't got these yet and you're looking at somewhere to buy them, I can recommend the Cool Toys Club. They do sell these uh, 2000 AD figures. There is a link in the video description below. And you can find, uh, just uh, click on brands, then click on hire. You see that all the higher stuff that they sell and they have for pre-order. Let's get an idea of his size. Get my tape measure. I shall go upwards, downwards a little bit. No, upwards a little bit. About there, maybe. Okay. So he is approaching 11 cm to the top of the head, around about 11 cm. Pretty cool. Okay, let me just get his arm down, and they will compare him to the other dark judges, get like a family portrait going on. So we'll put him in the middle because he is the focus, the uh, feature of this video. Pretty cool. We'll get death next to him here. He's a touch taller than death. We'll get fear. He's got awesome soft because looks amazing, but his head is just way too small. On the other side. Come on, stand up for me, fear. And then next to death, we'll get judge fire. Let's get me standing up first. And here are our dark. Come on, fire, you can do it. Our dark judges. Fire is the tallest because of his flaming head. He also doesn't, ah, he also doesn't want to stand up at the moment. Come on. Push that up a little bit. There we go, I should do it. I think they look fantastic there. They look really, really good. And you can see that the clothes just about match. It looks like Mortis is a touch lighter than Fear and Death, but that's visible on cam on camera. Quite a bit harder to see uh, in hand. But you can see what I mean about the knee pads. So much brighter on these pads. And the green on these two is probably the same. That's more heavily inked weathered. But it's different to this one here, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, rather they were they were matching. Great looking figures, but why do they make Fear's head so small? Great looking figures from Higher. Higher have really upped their game with their 2080 series, which makes me really helpful with their up and coming G.I. Joe stuff. They're really doing a great job on this line. So great job by Higher. I do like this one a lot. I'm all in on this line. Um my favourite figure at the moment is the Clegg Mercenary, who I'll stick a link in the top right for you to look at if you want to see that review, because he's a great figure as well. Fantastic toy line, very, very good, worth getting into, especially if you're a fan. If you're not a fan, they're still great figures anyway, which you can use in your various different universes, or perhaps the customers, not that expensive. Again, please do check out Cool Toys Club, link in the video description below, which includes a 5% discount, so it's worth clicking onto that to take a look and do your shopping. And do consider joining the Patreon, link in the video description below as well, as long as discounts to other t uh, other stores like uh, Joy Toy World, Flight Ima Toy Store, and Locker Toys. I will see you in the next video. Subscribe to this channel and smash that notification bell icon to so not miss a video as soon as it's published.